Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. We are at Trigger Time, the Trigger Time uh, sh Outdoor Shooting Range, and uh, we're doing another little video to show you guys. This is a 223 Wild 16 inch barrel. Um, it has a 1 in 8 twist rate, and it has a carbine length gas system, I believe. I have to go check the box. It's either carbine length or mid length. Um, we did a little bit of shooting for an intro with this, and a little bit more testing with it, running some different kinds of ammo through it today. And uh, we just wanted to talk to you guys about really what 223 Wild is. So we have a lot of people out there that are asking really good questions that maybe some of us that have been around guns for an extended period of time know, but people that are new may not. So everybody's really used to 223 Remington, which is this. And I actually don't have any 556 on us right now because this is all we had in house because of the ammo shortages. But uh, it's a 223 Remington. And then everybody's really familiar with, you know, the size and the look of a regular 5.56 NATO, okay? So everybody knows that you can shoot 223 in a 5.56, but you're not really supposed to shoot 5.56 in a 2.23. Um, really, that's because of the, the pressure difference. So there's a lot more powder in a 5.56, and it causes a lot more pressure. So as it comes and goes to the gas block and comes back into the system, there may be too much pressure if you were to shoot a 5.56 in a 2.23 gun. Um, and the, on the flip side, the 5.56, five, how the throat of the round comes, or the throat of the barrel comes around the actual casing to hold the round still, the throat in a 5.56 five, is actually a little bit longer than the 2.23. So if you load 2.23 rounds into a 5.56, five, five, you may actually have the round where it moves a little bit side to side or up and down, so it may decrease your accuracy slightly. Uh, a lot of people have done testing on this, and some people say that, you know, your 223 is really about as accurate as your 556. There's not that much play in the barrel. Other people say it's horrendous, and you're gonna, you're not gonna hit your target at all if it's anything over 200 yards. Uh, there's a lot of testing, a lot of you know, just documentation, and people, you know, going one way or the other, whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. Nobody really tells you to shoot 556 in a 223 chamber because you could have a catastrophic gas tube failure or action failure where you may blow the top of your AR-15 or crack it or something. So we don't want to do that. We wouldn't advise you to do that. We advise you to always shoot the kind of ammo that's supposed to go in your gun. So if your gun's labeled 223, we want you to shoot 223 in it. If it's labeled 556, shoot 556 in it. So then somebody got really fed up with it and they were tired of explaining the difference in 223 and 556 over and over and over again. So this guy decided he was going to take it into his own hands and he was going to build the best of both worlds. Enter your 223 Wild chamber. So you may say, I've never seen any ammo that says 223W or 223 Wild. I always see 223 Remington or 223 REM. So 223 Wild is not an actual cartridge. It's just a chamber. So we took the best of both worlds. We took the gas tube and the ability to handle immense pressure from the 5.56 into this build. And we also made the throat and the actual action of this weapon a little bit tighter for tolerance. So if you were to load a 223 Remington in there, you're not going to get any case wiggling or anything like that. So this is kind of a, we're, we're meshing these two calibers that are very close together, okay? So 223 being the civilian and the 5.56 NATO being the, the military style that all these countries use in the UN, okay? So the gas tube can handle the high pressures of your 5.56, but the action is still tight enough that your 223 is not gonna move around any, and it's gonna be solid, so you're gonna get your best accuracy, and you're not gonna have any action failure or anything like that. So you'll never see any 223 wild ammo because it doesn't exist. If anybody tells you to go find 223 wild ammo, they're playing a joke on you. Just laugh it off and move on. Uh, but this particular platform is a best of both worlds. So if you're not sure if you want the 223 because the ammo is a little bit cheaper, but you know you don't want to shoot 556 and potentially you know have a malfunction in your gun and break something. And you know you want to buy a 556, but the 223 ammo is just so much cheaper and it's so much easier to find. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You don't have to worry about putting the wrong ammo in the wrong gun anymore. You don't have to worry about if mine's chambered in 223 or 556, which it is. You can just buy whichever ammo you want. All you have to do is go to bearcreekarsenal.com and buy a 223 Wild Upper. So we sell these in like 16, 18 inches, pretty much anything standard that we sell the 556 in. 
So I think we have a seven and a half inch and a ten and a half inch barrel set up. So you can get a pistol upper if you want, or you can get a like a sixteen all the way to a twenty inch if you want. So if you're looking to shoot a little bit farther out, and um, that also means that you can put all those different kinds of ammo in it. So if you're worried about buying high pressured five five six ammo, the two two three wild will hold that and it'll be fine. You won't blow your gas tube out. You won't have a malfunction up here that cracks the upper receiver. None of that's going to happen. And if you want to shoot 223 ammo that maybe has a smaller diameter or it's a shorter bullet, you won't have to worry about sacrificing your accuracy either. So it's kind of a best of both worlds option and there's not an upcharge for it really because you know this is about the same platform as your 5.56. Some other companies, when they first came out with 223 Wild, were charging enormous amounts of money for it. It was something that was sold at a premium, um, and that's just not really the case anymore. So if you go check out the website, Bear Creek Arsenal, we do have a lot of these 223 Wilds in stock. We do not sell 223 Remington. So if you see 223 on the website, it is not Remington, it is Wild. It usually says W afterwards. 99% of the time of everything I've looked at, it always has a W or the word Wild after. So if you're looking for a 223 Remington or a 556, just go ahead and bridge the gap, spend the money, get you a 223 Wild for Bear Creek Arsenal. It shoots great, it feels great, runs just like everything else does, and it eats both kinds of ammo. So we're gonna shoot a little bit more, show you guys some more stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys on the website. We're gonna do a little bit of shooting, 223 uh, Remington ammo, 223 Wild chamber. Go ahead and load up and get into it some shoot. All right, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed shooting. I know our cameraman Tim definitely did whenever he gets a chance to now. So, uh, yeah, 223 Wild, your best of both worlds. So. You can shoot your 223 and your 556 five, shells in here. You're not going to have to worry about any gas pressure issues. And you're not going to lose any accuracy because it's, you know, they kind of mesh the two calibers together and made a good platform across the board where you don't have to worry about those things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like the video, subscribe, comment down below, tell us some more stuff that you want to see. If there's a video we haven't done that you want to see or if there's something you can't find that you think maybe we've done in the past, we can do another one on it, you know. So do that. Please comment below. Let us know. And uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, anything that you guys are really looking for, just let us know. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks uh, again for trigger time, for letting us come out here and shoot at their place. And I uh, appreciate you guys. You have a good one.